Tis the season for heart attacks. That's right. Studies show that Americans already at risk for heart disease are even more vulnerable during the holidays. What makes this time of year more dangerous and what can you do to keep yourself healthy? Joining us now is New York Cardiac Diagnostic Center Director Stephen Reisman. Welcome, doctor. Good morning. Uh, tell me about, and it's, I had not heard of this before, but holiday heart syndrome. Tell me about this. Well, holiday heart syndrome is um, an entity described about 25 years ago. And what was noticed was that people during the holidays frequently, many of them would have very rapid heartbeat palpitations and would seek attention. And, and what it appears to be is during the holiday season, with an excessive amount of alcohol uh, ingestion, uh, this can cause what's called tachyarrhythmias, or very rapid heartbeat, frequently atrial fibrillation. And if somebody experiences something like this, they should immediately seek attention in an urgent care center, an emergency room, get an EKG, and it's usually um, benign. It usually resolves spontaneously. It's usually not fatal, but it's important that you seek attention and, and diagnose it. On the other hand, there is a known increase in, in heart attacks and in sudden cardiac death during the holiday season. This is a different issue. And this has to do with people who are vulnerable or at risk for heart attack. They can get a ruptured plaque and some of the things that we think cause it are cold weather and shoveling snow, vigorous exercise, um, and people may not seek attention as quickly if they have chest pain because they're away on vacation. So that's a different situation than the holiday heart syndrome. Yeah. Now, is this, I mean, I know especially uh, here in New York this year, we had a couple of snowstorms before the holidays. Everybody kind of got, got thrown off kilter a little bit, it seemed like. And a lot of people I talked to said, oh, my God, I'm not, you know, are you ready for Christmas? No, I'm not. Is this just a seasonal thing? Or is this really about people who are already vulnerable and it's just being ramped up during the season? In other words, I mean, do generally healthy people find the stress of the holidays overwhelming them physically? Well, to have a, a, an acute heart attack, you have to have a certain vulnerability and you have to have a plaque build up mm -hmm. in your arteries. In our office, we frequently test for that with stress testing and various testing to see if you're at risk. But what happens in the holiday season, we think, and it happens also like in Los Angeles where there isn't cold weather, is that people tend to eat too much. They tend to start doing possibly on vacation vigorous exercise when they're out of shape. That's a risk factor. If you're going skiing and you haven't exercised for six months, be very careful. Don't do vigorous exercise if you're so out of shape. So the holiday season heart attack issue is for people who are already vulnerable. They can be tested before they go away with stress testing and other means to see if they're really at high risk. Okay, and what should, what, what's your advice to people during the holidays? When should they start thinking about this actually is the first thing? Well, they should start thinking about this before they go on vacation. They should, if they have a family history, if they have one of the standard risk factors, such as high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, if they're a smoker, if they have a family history of heart disease, they should get checked out, preferably by a cardiologist, to see if they're somebody who has an increased risk. The other things that can trigger an event are psychological factors such as anger, depression, um, and there are physical things as I mentioned, vigorous physical exercise, and uh, don't delay seeking attention. If somebody has jaw pain, chest pain, they're on vacation, don't say I'm going to wait till next week when I get back, immediately check it out. Because when somebody starts experiencing chest pain that's heart related, time is a critical issue. Within two, three, four hours you should get checked out. Well, all right, Dr. Reisman, New York Cardiac Diagnostic Center, thanks for joining us. Thank you.